Right now, people are predicting mental health pandemic, suicide pandemic. So what you're saying is there is a virus pandemic, it's bad enough, it's disturbed many things. Now you will multiply it within yourself and make it into ten different problems and then you think you have some kind of a qualification. No. You need to understand you're just multiplying one problem into many things within yourself. Because human experience is your business. What happens in the world is not entirely ours. What the world thro throws at us is not entirely determined by us. So many things happen, all right? But what happens within us is entirely our business. As cultures, as individual people, as cultures, as societies, we have not taken charge of this. The way we eat, the way we sit, the way we breathe, we have not handled this mechanism in such a way, the human mechanism, which is the most sophisticated and complex mechanism on this planet, which is a consequence of a million years of evolution. Now we don't know how to handle it. So it's just like if you sit on a bicycle and you don't know how to ride, of course you crash and you think there's something wrong with a bicycle. If you don't know how to drive the best car in the world, you still can kill yourself. So does, does not mean there's something wrong with automobile. Similarly, there is nothing wrong with this, it's just that this is a kind of a chemical soup. Now, are you a great cook or a lousy cook? That's a question. I'm a bad cook. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not good for your profession. You should not be saying, I'm talking about this soup. <laughs> I know, that soup, absolutely, the chemical soup. Well, I can see the analogy. And I can see why self-control is so important. So, this is not something that today, because there is pandemic, you can take charge of yourself. This has to become the culture from an early age. Right now, you're seeing this everywhere, uh, you know, just anywhere you see, even in advertisements, the commercials that come for a few seconds, definitely in the movies, and I'm sure it is so in the television shows. How do you deal with something that you don't like? Well, if you find somebody who is weaker than you, punch their face into pulp. If you don't find anybody, punch a glass pane. If you're a little more stupid, try a wall. If you're very stupid, try a rock. Break something, throw something, do something, scream, yell, obscenities. This is the way you deal with something that you don't like. You're setting a culture that I will go mad is like a kind of a qualification. What we need to understand is the line between sanity and insanity is so thin, so thin. If you push it too often, one day you will cross, you will be successful to be on the other side. Any number of people, they are going to the other side and coming back. So people will come, you know, as a expression, people are saying, I was with this person and he said this, I was really mad for some time and then I came back, all right? So they are saying they crossed the line and they came back. Well, if you cross the line too often, one day you won't be able to come back, then uh, they will have to come to you or get, to get admitted to the institutions, all these things. But a whole lot of people in every society are doing this every day. They think it's their right to cross the line and come back. If you cross the line too often, one day it may not let you back. That is… that is very much a possibility, because life within you understands, the intelligence within you understands you want to be on the other side. This may sound like a very unfair judgment for those who are suffering mental ailments. Well, there are pathological situations, there are genetic situations, I know this. But there is a way to go beyond all that. This is why a human being is capable of being conscious. That's why we call you a being. We do not refer to any other creature on this planet as a being, because only this creature is supposed to know how to be. If you know how to be, would you be sane or insane? That's a big question. It's a very obvious answer. If you know how to be, you would be in the highest level of pleasantness, not in highest level of unpleasantness. So, this has not been taken charge of. We are treating it like some external things are causing our experience. No, external things can be stimuli, but it is the way we respond which causes the experience.